Okay, so here's some tips on how to start off in Neverwinter. So what you want to do is go to Sergeant Knox. You'll know who he is because you'll get a lot of missions from him at the beginning. So start off from Sergeant Knox. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get this tiger because I'm sure you're wondering how all these people have it and you don't. Uh, it's completely free. So start off from Sergeant Knox, go up the stairs north, then go west, then go down the stairs west. Come over to this guy with the present above his head. Interface with him by pressing X and then go to the promo tab. All you do is uh, press X to claim your tiger and to summon your tiger you press up on the d-pad. He has a cool animation when he's summoned and he has an animation on his feet when he runs. I'm sure this would be a lot more appealing to people than the horse but it just depends who you are. I personally like the tiger. I didn't even know how to get him until I got to level 30 because a friend helped me out, so that's how you get the tiger. Next thing, I'll show you how to use your loadout bar. So the loadout bar has two layers. I'll talk about the first layer first. The first layer will start from the middle. The diamond is a supercharge. Is That's your supercharge meter. Once it fills up, it'll be completely orange, and to activate it, you hold L1 and press X. I mean, press square or whatever it is on your controller. For me it's square because I'm on PS4. So that's what the middle diamond is. To the right you have your power binds and that'll be unique to you and whatever power you are you just press the corresponding button to activate them. I have this power available right now. It is my circle bind so it's available because you can activate it outside of combat once I get in combat, it automatically triggers. Uh, to the right of that, you have your basic attack, which is your L2, represented to the by the far right icon, and your L1, which for me targets enemies, and when I target enemies, I do more damage to them. And uh, let's talk about to the left of the diamond now. To the left of the diamond, immediately to the left, you have your directional buttons these are the directional button inputs so up on the d-pad is your mount obviously uh, right on the d-pad is whatever you have bound on that and down and left are the same so to the left of that you have your l2 which is the top the top um, at the very top from the left directional button that would be your l2 key so that would activate whatever power you have bound to l2 and be, uh, below that is your movement mode meter, so it'll show you how much stamina you have left. So that's layer one of the ability bar. Layer two, you access by holding L1. So um, obviously it's the same setup, so uh, right on the D-pad, that's your inventory this time. When you're holding L1, up is your map, down is your chat um, interface, and to the to the right of the d-pad would be invocation I'll, I'll take you to this area right now to show you how invocation works uh, all you have to do is come south of sergeant Knox sergeant Knox is that way so you come south of sergeant Knox in order to invocate you hold L1 and press right on the d-pad it's really worth doing it's really worth invocating because you can get free experience as you see you get free XP you get astral diamonds, ardent coins, celestial coins. You just get rewarded for just coming here every now and then and invocating. Uh, every time you do it, the cooldown is longer. So for me, it's 15 minutes. After that, it'll be 30 minutes. I often forget to do it, though. But you should definitely do it if you're leveling up. Next tip I would give you is I'll talk about the second layer of the loadout some more. So what you want to do is hold L1 again. Uh, L1 and triangle, that's your group interface. You'll do instances where you're grouped up with like three or four people sometimes and that's how you like interface with them and um, L1 square would be how you activate your supercharge and then L1 X would be how you jump. You can also do that with a mount so call out my mount. L1 square you can jump with your mount. Okay so I'm going to dismount and then L1 circle you get you get like an artifact later on in the game I'm sure there's better ones but the one I have currently uh, lets me do more damage so to activate it it's L1 circle 
and it has a cooldown of about three minutes so uh, you can't really spam it and that's about it for the loadout now I'll show you how to use your inventory because this gave me a lot of trouble when I was uh, leveling up because I really didn't know what items to keep I didn't really even know how to open my inventory so to open it all you have to do is uh, hold L1 and click left on the d-pad uh, this is your main inventory it's the biggest bag that you'll get for free and then you have a secondary one by pressing L2 uh, obviously you can see it fills up really quick and especially leveling, leveling up to level 30 it'll be a huge problem so what you want to do is you want to delete items like cups or ornaments stuff like that anything you can't wear or yeah anything you can't wear or use just delete it or sell it to one of the vendors most vendors will buy your stuff so yeah delete that stuff uh red gear red gear isn't it's not relevant to your power or your race whatever you picked so i'm a warlock so i can't use stuff that a warrior uses or i don't know what they're called i'm new to this game as well but these are just tips on how like some useful tips on how i leveled up because i think i got to level 30 in like three days and even that took a while and I think it was double XP I don't know how long I was playing but yeah that's how that's uh, how long it took me but anyway that's how you use your inventory you just L2 to toggle to your second inventory after that you have to buy the rest you have to buy the rest of the spaces and that's how you use your inventory this game has a lot of in-app purchases so if you don't like uh, what you're wearing or you don't like your mount personally I, I like this mount but I wish I had a better one but I'm not willing to spend the money but if you are a mount you could get if you are lucky when opening lock boxes and I'll show you what the lock boxes are uh, you'll get these by just fighting stuff so you'll have plenty of them <laughs> I have 41 I haven't unlocked a single one but I got like this much by getting to level 30 to unlock them you have to buy enchanted keys these cost Zen Zen is the currency for in-app purchases in this game and you don't have to buy it with real life money you can trade astro diamonds for it and you get astro diamonds by like playing the game basically but the conversion rate from zen to astro diamonds is really high so 100 zen is 17,000 astro diamonds so don't think you're just gonna you're just gonna get a whole bunch of zen by just having some astro diamonds you need a lot of astro diamonds so you can you can either choose to just wait and save up some astral diamonds or you can choose to spend some money and buy zen 100 zen 100 zen i think is the equivalent of a dollar i think a thousand zen is ten dollars so if you want to spend the money you can do that 500 zen is five dollars so and it takes a hundred zen to get an enchanted key so you have ten chances to get the griffin mount this is the griffin right here so obviously it looks freaking amazing and i wonder if it looks that good when when you bind it to your character or, or the or if it gets downscaled somehow but yeah you can you have a chance to get this griffin if you spend money but that's up to you uh, personally i haven't spent any but that's uh, another option if you don't like the blue tiger or the horse that you get for free the horse is free and the tiger is free so if you're content with those and you don't need all that stuff you can just uh, save your money and you'll know you're at the right place when you see this purple tree so just left of the purple tree that's where your mount seller is this guy sells horses and he can also buy your stuff so that's another tip if, if you want him to buy your stuff just toggle uh, by pressing R1 to sell and then you can sell him some of your stuff so yeah he sells you horses and he can buy your stuff as well pretty sure most vendors can buy your gear as well so that's an option if you don't want to delete your gear another tip I'd give you is whenever you're just lost and you have a mission active just follow this rainbow trail it'll take you right to where you need to be and uh, if you don't see it appear that means it's not act the current quest isn't active in your city it's active in another city and what you want to do is just come to the outside of the map and interface with one of these gates and just press X go down to where you see this diagonal yellow arrow that means that is your active mission that's where you need to go just press X to go there press it twice I'm not gonna go there right now but that's how you do that what would I say another good tip would be 
Uh, if you want to access your mailboxes, uh, here's a mailbox right now. So I think they're near these gates. So whenever you see one of these gates, there's probably a mailbox nearby. But anyway, this is what they look like. You just press X. Sometimes your mail has attachments uh, that you can claim from it. And I know I had some sort of like reward for just starting the game. So that's how you access your mail. You can also toggle through the different interfaces on your on your HUD by just pressing the touchpad. Just pressing it and you can toggle through your name, your companion, how much XP you have left to the next level. Uh, this will show you, you can toggle it again. It'll show you like what, um, if you have power points available, if you have, if your companion is ready to train, uh, Toggling it again will show you your current um, quest. Toggling it again will give you the map interface, and you can pan out of the map. You can pan sideways. You can just move it around if you want. Uh, moving it, moving the causer on the map, uh, you use the left analog stick and to pan in and pan out, or zoom in and zoom out, uh, use the right analog stick. So that's how you uh, toggle through the interfaces to just... Um, see what's going on also and another another tip would be basically there are roles in this game but from what i understand uh in order to like access the roles you need to reach level 30 and once you re reach level 30 you're given an option to choose either do you want to focus your your traits into combat or do you want to focus them into healing uh, or controlling or whatever your alt role is I'm pretty sure there's a tank role as well. I focused mine into DPS because I didn't want to heal at a low level. But I think you need to pay money in order to change your role. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, you don't really have to worry about that until you get to level 30. I chose DPS because I just want to like learn how to DPS in this, game, in this game. I think that's the most important role for me at the moment. Uh, it might not be for someone else. But I do want to heal at some point. But... Yeah, this game does have roles. There is healers, there is tanks, there is controllers. And if you want to do that, that is an option for you later on in the game. And uh, I think that's all the tips I have for now. Um, if I learn some more stuff, I'll make another video. And i just like to thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.